Those who call upon my name with an open heart will be saved. Listen and listen well. Oh, my sons and daughters, I will give you a name no person, no person can give you on this earth. That name will forever be established. For what I establish for good, no one can tear it down. So come. My return is imminent and my reward is with me. I had a rapture dream and also a message like around 12 36 i think that's the time i woke up really it was the time i woke up and checked my phone um, so i may have woke up a minute or two minutes before that um i had a rapture dream and immediately um uh, or said right like i heard it clear as day and i just started writing um so the rapture dream goes as this um it was like a normal day for me right and for me i was like struggling with something it was like this feeling. I was really struggling with something. Excuse me. Yeah, I was really struggling with something. And and I was trying to hold myself back. I was like, I need to hold myself back. 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 And I was really struggling with something. And immediately I heard trumpets just the shine that just um appeared in the sky. Right? And immediately I thought, I was like, oh my goodness, the rapture. And, you know, uh, I was struggling in my dream not to sin, but I didn't do it. I was struggling not to do it. So I thought that struggle, I'm guessing, kept me um, back from the rapture. So um, I was crying when it happened. I saw like a white limousine go straight up into the sky. It was like a white limousine as clear as day. Trumpets started sounding and I saw like a white limousine go straight up into the sky. And all of a sudden, I saw flames just shooting up. It was like fire flames just shooting up. And in my mind, I was like, I gotta go through the tribulation. And then I didn't accept it. So I cried, I said, Lord, help me. I was crying. I said, Lord, help me. And all of a sudden I started speaking in tongues and, um, and I felt like a shaking, like a shaking. And all of a sudden I shot up. Like it was like flames all around me. I shot up into the sky too. And I was like amongst the flames that shot up. I shot up into the sky and all of a sudden I started going this warp lightning speed. Like this speed like um, these shows that they be going, what they call it, light speed. And um, and you just see nothing but I guess stars going behind you. It was like that. It was like I was going super fast. It was like, it was like, you know stars are just going behind me it was like at first it was like the sky and all of a sudden it was like these different colors and, they were, and i was just going lightning speed it was weird but then before i got to the destination like i was arriving there and then i woke up like i never saw the destination I, I arrived to i just know i was moving and then i woke up and um in my mind i was like man i wanted to see you know where i was going to you know and immediately um you know, I got this message, um, and this is what it is. My son, my return is imminent, and my reward is with me. Those who call upon my name with an open heart will be saved. Listen and listen well. Just as the rapture took you by surprise in your dream, so it will take others. There are those who are struggling to cease from sin and think they have another day to get it right. However, little do they know it could be the day of my return. Trust in me, I will purify you. Ask and I will give you living water to drink. Are you thirsty? Come and I will give you my spirit to sanctify you. Why are you just standing there? Why are you just looking? Is this deal too good to be true? Are you processing that I am scamming you? No, I assure you. I am the truth, the way, and the life. No one can get to the Father but by me. The one who scams is the father of scams, the father of lies, the devil. So come, yes, come now, come to me, and I will give you living water. You won't go thirsty again. Come, come to shelter, and you won't freeze in the cold winter. You have a home? Question mark. Oh, you're homeless. Great, come, I will adopt you. Oh, my sons and daughters, I will give you a name, no person. No person can give you on this earth. That name will forever be established. 
For what I establish for good, no one can tear it down. So come, come my children. And wait, there's some more. I gotta flip it over. Come and enjoy yourselves. Leave everything. Surely I tell you, those who leave their lives for me will gain it back hundredfold. And I'm a God that's close and not far away at the same time. And vice versa. I am far from sinners with an evil heart. However, I am close to my children. Woe to you who miss my attractive, glorious deal. I offer you something no man can offer you, and you chose to freeze in the winter. I offer you water, and you chose to go thirsty. You all chose this. You don't believe in me. You offended me. I am hurt. Yes, I have tried everything with you, but you all looked at me as, the, as it's not attractive enough, like it's not satisfying enough. What's more satisfying than eternal life, O oh, you mortal souls? You rather die to please your flesh. The time has come. I will take mine and those who are left behind will reap the consequences that they have sowed. Yes, they will reap and drink water of gall, water of bitterness. Yes, my wrath will be poured out most severely. Such things that was never seen before will never come upon will come upon you and you will know I am the Lord. You will regret not taking my glorious deal. Um, and after that, um, I was led to like Revelations 14. Um, I was reading Revelation 14. It talks about the mark of the beast. Then it talks about how um, the sickle, um, how um, the Lord is going to take his, you know, separating the sheep from the goats. And the goats was, is going to be, is going to suffer the wrath of God. And uh, the Lord will take those that are his. I was just reading a bit on that. And um, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and truly not abiding on the narrow path, then I suggest you do it now. Romans 10 and 9 says, um, Believe in your heart and confess in your mouth that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. For with the heart you believe unto righteousness and with the mouth you confess unto salvation. And when you do that, you will be saved. And you got to fully submit it to the Lord. You fully submit it to his will and love him. When you have that submit, when you fully submit and you fully love him, right? Love your neighbor. But when you fully love him, everything else is going to fall in line. You're going to be obedient to whatever he tells you to do. If you truly have that love for him, um, pray for the Holy Ghost. So because the Holy Ghost sanctify you. The Bible, Jesus said the Holy Ghost um, testify against the world. So the Holy Ghost is going to convict you, right? The Bible says, and I believe in the book of Timothy, or Titus says that he gave up his life so he can redeem us from all iniquity, purifying unto unto himself a peculiar people. So we're going to be peculiar people because we're going to be different from the world. But being different of the world is not bad or boring. And I want to explain in another video. It's actually a blessing where it's actually um, a purifying experience. And I want to explain that. Uh, but as far as this man take it to heart um pray i love y'all man and uh let us pray father god in the name of jesus for i ask that this message touch someone lord rather be one hundred or a thousand i give you the praise the honor the glory come in lord come in god and touch our hearts lord touch our hearts i pray for mercy upon our families lord and upon america god just a little while longer lord so more souls can come into the work field god more souls can come into the kingdom god let your will be done god in us god that we walk on this narrow path god Wash our feet, Lord, that we walk on this narrow path, God. We walk circumspectly and wise, Lord, and not, God, not blind, Lord, as we follow out the yoke light and walk as children of light. I give you the praise, the honor, and glory, O Lord, our Savior, who was, who is, who is to come, Alpha and Omega, Lord. Come in, Lord. Come in in our lives, God. Touch our souls, our mind, God. Move our bodies, Lord, that I submit everything to you, God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for I love you, God, for I love you, God. There are our brothers and sisters, God. There are sons and daughters, there are mothers and fathers, Lord, who need you, God, who need you, Lord. Show your glory, God. Show your glory, God, for they are thirsty, Lord. Show your glory, Lord, that they may come, God, and enter to your glorious deal, Lord. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. I love y'all, man, and uh, God bless.